So here we are with my uh, Arduino driven dividing head. Uh, I'm using an Arduino uh, a microcontroller to, uh, uh, which is programmed to allow me to uh, set up uh, the number of divisions that I want the stepper motor to go uh, in a rotation uh, forward and backward and uh, then use it to step uh, forward and backward to equal to divide uh, uh, a circle up into however many divisions I want. So <clears throat> this is the Arduino and it has a, a um, SaneSmart LCD slash keypad shield on top of it so you really can't see the Arduino. All you can see is the uh, LCD, sh uh, LCD and the keypad. Uh, this is a, a 12 volt uh, 4800 amp hour uh, uh, lithium ion battery. Um, this little uh, this little hootie duty here is a uh, Palalu stepper motor driver. It's about the size of a postage stamp and it uh, will uh, <clears throat> take up to uh, I don't know 20 or 30 volts for our motor and uh, supposedly up to 2 amps although I'm not going to be driving it that hard. Uh, this is my stepper motor, which is uh, a uh, 12 volt, half, one half amp stepper with um, <clears throat> seven and a half degree steps, or that comes out to 48 steps per revolution. Ultimately, this will be driving a worm gear uh, spindle, which will uh, step this down another 60 to one. So that'll give me a total resolution of 2,880 uh, steps per revolution. So we will turn the battery on here. It's got a switch on the end, which I can turn on. <clears throat> and you can uh, maybe see the light on there. And my um, Arduino, or my uh, Saint Smart LCD now is showing uh, on the display. So it shows divisions. That's defaulting to one to begin with. And then the position of the stepper that's on zero. I've got these little buttons down here. The one on the far left is a select button, which I'm not using. Uh, the next button over is the left button, which will move the stepper. Uh, uh, actually, I've got it reversed right now, but that'll move it in one direction. Then the next two buttons, the top button is the up, and the, the one below it is the down. Those allow me to set the number of divisions to different numbers. And the number, then the, the button next to that is the right key, which steps the stepper in the other direction. The last button there is the reset button, which lets me restart the program from, from the beginning. So we'll go over the uh, keypad here so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to hit the up button <clears throat> several times, which is going to change the uh, number of divisions uh, from one. It'll, it'll go up each time I hit the key. So there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there's six. So now I've got this thing, the program is set up now to... Uh, take six full steps or six presses of a button to rotate the stepper motor one full revolution. I could change that to 8, 10, 12, 15, 19, any number I want um, <clears throat> and uh, it will it would change to that uh, to that number. So over here uh, we have the stepper and um, I'm going to press the button um, <clears throat> This is the step button, so you'll see the motor is going to move. There it goes. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then six takes it back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. I push the other button, it'll go the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, <clears throat> and then if you watch the um, or the uh, LCD here again as I press the button. See, when I press the forward button, the, the you'll see the position will go up. So there's position one, there's two, there's three, four, five, and then back to start. And these numbers over here on the right are just for debugging. Um, <clears throat> the top number, the eight, is the number of steps that, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the number of stepper steps that it takes for one division of the dividing head and then the one below that is the current stepper position. So there you see it's on position 8 and then there it's on 16 and 24, 32, 
uh, 40 and then back to zero. Uh, I've got the debounce on this set kind of sensitive, so it'll it'll jump two positions on me if I'm if I don't get off the key pretty quickly. Anyway, that's that's it for now. Um, this basically is just to show conceptually how it works, and um, as I progress with the dividing head, I will post more videos. Thanks for watching.